Howdy everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Look at this. This is the uh, the Guardian Farm in progress. And I tell you, I'm getting really sick of it. <laughs> I'm really ready for this to be done. Uh, am making progress. I have all the dispensers in place. It was a bit of a pain, but I got it. So notice there are gaps. This gap here will be filled by these guys. This gap here will be filled by this guy. It all works out. Trust me, it works. Or it's going to. And then I need to go in and lay in a whole mess of... Uh, I'm using yellow glass. I guess it doesn't have to be yellow glass, but I'm using yellow glass. And, uh, and then a whole mess of fence gates. I'm using spruce, because we have a good... Uh, a good high volume way of getting spruce spruce wood so anyway and then so the i've got a, a few strips or a couple strips here done and i got the dispensers in place i am in the process of placing the uh some slabs on top in order to run the redstone so let me show you that i, I didn't want to completely cover it up so <laughs> Uh, lay out the strips and they're all zigzagged like you saw and then uh, I've got a pattern of the dispensers that go in so uh, you know a couple are on this side one is on this side and it's a repeating pattern all along and then we need to be able to trigger them so I'm using slabs because they're relatively cheap and um, and you can put redstone on them if you put them in the top position. What I believe they refer to as an upside down slab. Let's see what the game calls it. Slab, top slab. Okay, it's in the top position. So anyway, I'm putting in torches for now because I don't want stuff spawning up here. We are actually at the top height of the, of the guardian spawn area. So I don't know if zombies and skeletons and such can spawn up here and I don't want to take a chance the torches will come out and I will be placing in redstone all along these and if I get um, let me go away do some more of this and then show you what that looks like but this is fairly easy it's just a little tedious it is nice I'm, I'm as i said i'm getting kind of sick of it but it's nice to see some you know actual concrete progress so that's making me a little less sick of it and knowing that i've got most of the resources in place that i need okay let me finish up these slabs and i'll be back with you in a sec spawning test in progress so I was under the impression that the pigmen could spawn on rails in the nether. Um, so I built out this little area where, sure, let them spawn. I haven't seen any spawns though, so I think I was mistaken or misinformed. So uh, we will probably be building a rail out this way. Right now I need all the powered rails I can get my hands on and make in order to build the collection system. So that's a... Uh, um, yeah, so I don't have I don't have a few stacks of extra powered rails to lay out here, but that will happen eventually. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. I'll be right back. So I got all the I got all the center slabs in. I have to be a little careful trying to work in the rain here. If it starts thundering, as I think I mentioned, um, the uh, we run into problems where the lightning can set the nether rack on fire and since i got a ton of nether rack down below me there right you can see it through there um that's a potential problem so um yeah we don't want that all right so i'm gonna do this two sides now if i jump out here can i jump back up yes beautifully 
Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I just want to show you this real quick. And I want to test it. So on each row, we're going to put... Um, I'm holding down shift as I walk along. And uh, so I can place it on top of the, the dispensers down the center. I see lightning or is that the beacon so this string of redstone down the center may actually be enough to trigger all of the dispensers including like this one if this block is powered I don't know I need to find I need to do a test to find out but otherwise in my testing I was just doing this which you know what it's not that much redstone I may just go ahead and do this but I'll do a test and if I don't need to, to use up that much redstone I won't because I'm gonna need a, a ton of it down below oh goodness And so I'm going to light this thing up. The dispensers are going to be powered in strips like this. Run along each one. There might be a more efficient pattern. I don't know. This will work. My little uh, test farm that I did was done like this and seemed to work. So, and then I need to run along here. Oh, rain just went away. Thank you. So, and then I'm going to, I won't, uh, for purposes of testing, um, I'm going to put down a lever here and turn it on. And what we'll see here is that I'll have to do the testing on each one because this one will go down here. And so I can come here and find the point where it stops running and put in a repeater and it runs down to the end there and then at some point along the way it'll stop lighting up and back off to a point where it makes sense pop it in there you heard them click means they're getting powered that'll work and pick up that red zone yeah very good the uh the repeater pattern will probably vary by by strip because of how far they are from the central point that's okay or I may find that I just want to carry on this pattern the same pattern and just put one here and put one here and so on I'm going to need to make a bunch more repeaters, so I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, and I assume going out that way will be much the same. And one thing I wanted to do... Well, actually we can try this test right now because I happen to have an extra bucket of water I have finished off this strip here so the water should not be able to get through there so I should be able to go and turn it on and actually see if that uh, dispenser operates or not it does not okay that means I do need to put on that and there it works and we can uh, I can go down below let's get the ender pearls down there and we can make sure that it's not spilling out everywhere it is staying on top of the fence gates very nice now I bet if we run over here and get far enough away 
We might actually spawn a guardian in there. Might. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Huh. I don't see one. Okay. Well, in theory, it should work. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to show you? Hang on a second. Let me get some more supplies, and then we'll, I'll show you the next step, and then uh, we'll leave it at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. One spawned. It totally works. Very nice. Okay. I feel validated now. That's very exciting. Um, I may have to do something about him, but we'll, we'll see. These guys are nasty. Uh, or I may just have to go away far enough away for him to despawn. So this lever here is not going to be the way it works. I'm going to run redstone up somewhere up wherever the afk spot is going to be i'll run that to a button but i just wanted to use this as a as a uh, testing method and it totally worked it's very exciting all right okay so what do we need to do here get rid of some slabs oops no i don't need to do that okay hang on a sec here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Okay. I, you saw it, right? I mean, I'm not, I wasn't making things up. There was a guardian in there. Huh. And I only went up to my platform there. That was, I guess, enough for him to despawn. Maybe he wandered over this way too far. But the whole farm is only about 60 long. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I don't know where the best AFK spot is going to be. Um, still trying to figure that out. Okay, so um, I've got myself a bunch of yellow glass here. And so part of what I've been doing is just coming along here and filling in the pattern. Now, I'm totally not convinced that this zigzag pattern is necessary. Um, I'm going off of a video that I should have linked in the last in the last video, but I'll find it and link it again where uh, somebody did some testing with strips that were uh, zigzagged like this or at least had teeth in them and Compared that to the zip crowd server which had just straight ones and he said it produced more So Kind of taking him at his word uh, this is quite a bit more of a pain to build this way. <laughs> so if you didn't have to do this, um, it would probably be best. But anyway, so I'm just walking along underneath, placing in the, uh, the glass to the point where I can still walk under it because I'm going to need to go through and place the, uh, the fence gates. And the fence gates only need to be placed under Ooh, one more. The fence gates only need to be placed inside the, the little cavities here. So I can actually place these like this. And um, so if I get some fence gates on my bar here. So basically, oh, who's texting me? Oh, very nice. My wife, my lovely wife, is in Las Vegas. Oops, what was that? Uh, in Las Vegas, she is seeing Jack White perform tonight, and she, uh, they apparently got very good seats. So very exciting. So anyway, they need to go in in a pattern like this. Um. 
I'm taking out the torches where necessary. The torches will come out when I take down the netherrack slash dirt floor that I am putting these things into. I do need to make sure that these are all open uh, because they are a passable block when they're open. Oops. They are not a passable block when they are closed. So that's kind of important because we want the guardians to be able to fall through them. So, so crafting all these is, is a bit of a pain. Not as big of a pain as the dispensers were because the dispensers you need bows which don't stack and you need um, you need cobblestone and you need redstone and, and you, you get into a groove and it works out okay but it's just it's kind of a pain and then um, these guys come along and it's just wood I'm using spruce because the uh, the spruce trees the giant spruce trees are actually a really good way of getting a good amount of wood because you just spiral up the tree and then cut it down as you uh, as you come back down. It works totally well. And uh, one of those giant spruce trees can get you uh, a stack or a stack and a half of wood. So then you just take the uh, a stack of wood, turn it into planks, turn half of the resulting planks into sticks, and you get... So you get 128, um, 128 planks and 256 sticks. And that's exactly enough to craft one stack of fence gates. So I will be, I have a bunch of these, but I don't think I have enough. As you can see, I'm using a ton of them. And uh, I'm using two, a little over two stacks per strip. So, um, so that will work. And, but I will be, I will be uh, doing some more tree farming. Uh, probably not tonight, but, uh, but soon. It's, it's a nice zen thing to do and I may plant let's see here at the end there we go I may plant uh, some giant spruce trees over on that island over there I, I planted one I don't know if it ah see you need to make sure they're open I don't know if it grew yet and uh, you only really need three because by the time you circle around and get the th get the uh the third cut down the uh one of the other two has already grown they grow pretty quickly and they they're pretty generous with the saplings and since they don't generate any branches they're easy they're pretty easy to um to cut down you don't have to it's not like oak trees where you know the dark oak trees get you a lot of wood too but when they get really big they get the the little branches which uh, take extra time and care to cut down it's not hard it's just just more work and the spruce the giant spruce they're just straight up and down four blocks per uh, per height <laughs> so that works so anyway um, now I've got all the fence gates in I can do that and after just checking to make sure that everything's open because getting back in here is a little bit of a pain otherwise we'll be checking it from down below which we will do we will do that but and the glass doesn't need to come down one more it can stop right here because this is enough to block the water as long as you got all the spaces uh, occupied by the fence gates there we go and pop and pop whoops okay got a little over exuberant there all right so anyway this is that's how it's going see i'm about a quarter of the way done with the spawning area and then i brought over these uh, iron blocks because then it's just crafting a whole mess of buckets which is not going to be fun but it just you know it just needs to be done and uh, filling them up and filling the dispensers. 
I did see one uh, I did see one video where somebody did something I thought pretty clever is they placed a bunch of water source block the uh, source blocks just below the dispensers um, and then pulsed all the dispensers and caused them to suck up the water so they loaded all the buckets at once and the bucket empty buckets stack I don't have a good way to get back in here to do that though uh, so I'd have to either break my way in and then seal it back up to do that and then I have to do all of it at once so I don't know um, and then down below I've got to uh, dig down several more blocks here I'm slowly making my way cutting stuff out and I have a little stairwell down here I think And this is the level at which I need to, to empty it out to. So this is, I've still got a fair amount of work here. So, um, yeah. So anyway, we're making progress. It's going slowly, but it's starting to come together. And, it, and, and shortly, I should be able to uh, go from up here. I'll have to figure out the best way of doing it. I'll probably walk around the edges of this platform here and take out as much of the dirt and another rack as I can from up here and just walk around the sides and then I'll build a little catwalk underneath here that will let me go in and take all the rest of it out I need to do that as soon as I can because of this nether rack and the fire hazard especially in putting flammable blocks down on top of it so that's a little scary so anyway just working on this now and then um, and that's that's uh, that's that's all I have to say um, can I hit the lever from here yes I can woohoo all right okay so that's that uh, the only other thing who else is on Vex is on I believe and you notice there that my name has changed Mojang uh, brought up uh, name changes yesterday which is very cool um, when I signed up for my Mojang account in order to go buy Minecraft they wanted a username they didn't say that it would be your screen name in the game they just said oh give us a username and my name uh, my name my first name is often unique my full name is almost always is unique. I've never had a collision, somebody else having set up an account there in Trowbridge before. So, so I just, you know, to avoid the hassle, I just go and use the name Theron Trowbridge when I need a username and they don't want to use an email address. So, whatever. It wasn't that big of a deal. I, I don't mind people knowing my name. I'm not that big into the whole privacy secrecy thing um, but it isn't really what I want to show up everyone else has cool screen names and I'm Theron Trowbridge so it's kind of annoying um, so uh, I I use the name bang splat um, I, I do sort of experimental electronic music whoa, whoa, whoa. wait for the sound um, and I've been doing that for about 15 years now. And Bang Splat is the name I chose when I started doing that. And uh, I use it as my screen name when I need to in, in uh, different places. It's my Twitter handle, for instance. And it is primarily intended as my, as my music stuff. But this isn't that far unrelated. I composed and, and created the music that I used for the intro. Uh, and also the, I did a time lapse with some music that I dropped in. I used a, a piece that I had done a few years ago. So, so, you know, I, it's not completely unrelated. I should have dropped off that glass and, oh well. So, anyway, it's, uh, I went and changed the name, so I am now Bangsblatt. And that's that. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will 
come back and give you a progress update when I get more more going on when I maybe I do a full-scale test on one of the strips and uh, take out some of the water and let the guardians fall and see how how much damage they take or something I don't know and that'll uh, that'll probably be the next video um, I've been digging out more of my basement um, as kind of a mental break from the guardian farm because it's it's been a lot of work uh, but I don't have anything else major sort of in the works uh, we do plan on building a more productive iron farm and uh, and then I have that witch hut that I want to turn into a witch farm and at some point I want to build a new house and a and a mob spawner so so we'll uh, we have a lot of a lot of stuff to do I may I have to talk to Risk and see. He hasn't been on the server in quite a while. I don't know if he's lost interest or 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 what. Um, I'm thinking this area over here might be a good spot for a high Y mob spawner. Um, so we may take over. He's got a platform where I think he was starting to build a cactus farm. So he may, uh, he may take out his cactus farm and build a mob spawner there. It'd be something that would be useful to everybody on the server, including him if he came back and played. And I don't know that he needs that much cactus. But, I don't know. I'll talk to him first. So anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Alright, bye.